What's up my creative friends? Welcome to Lady Ash TV. This is Lady Ash and today I'm bringing you my first painting video The Art of Motivation where I paint and I have a discussion with you Now with COVID-19 a lot of persons are saying we have to be very deliberate about the persons that we get close to given that we are supposed to be maintaining social distancing for the health of the nation for the health of each of us so today we're looking at keeping romance alive and also looking forward to the days when we can once again embrace each other um, whether it's romantically or just by the way greeting to Say hello and you know, long time girl I'm gonna see you, you come with me, hold your hand. Yes, you want to be able to reach out and touch and to embrace each other again. This painting is really representing Jamaica One Love. As a people, we are very touchy feely, um, very um, loving, very caring, and we like to socialize um, very close to each other. One of our favorite pastimes, well, especially for the men, is playing dominoes. And um, of course, that is one of the things that you won't see happening on the street corners for a number of weeks because of this coronavirus. So, how do we keep romance alive in this time is one of the things I would like to ponder with you. I am a hopeless romantic, so I am one for the written word. I love the idea of getting a romantic letter um, in the day of in well in this day of technology we can go to the email as a solution to that given that snail mail is actually down <laughs> at this time but just spending some time to write your feelings to express yourself to the, your loved ones to send an email or write a note to your loved one is really nice and romantic. You can also spend time journaling and sharing those intimate thoughts with your loved ones through your journal. Other ways that you can resonate with each other romantically without physically touching is sending messages through songs and words and books through YouTube. There are a number of books that are in audio format there. Also you can create playlists that you can share with your loved ones um, remotely, you know, just sending love and peace and Jamaica one love to persons, especially Jamaicans who are not at home at this time who are dealing with coronavirus um, away from homeland can be hard I mean just being away from your home is hard much less to deal with an epidemic or a pandemic as well so you know you can send a YouTube playlist with some Jamaican songs and you know just really reach out to the ones you love in through music really reaching out to the ones you love through music as a creative way of expressing yourself you can send your loved ones virtual flowers um, that is another way that you can stay in touch with them and you know show you care I love poetry I will read poetry over and over I watch movies and I just listen to the, the poetry of it all so you can voice over poetry and send it to your loved ones um, I've been into poetry from I was a child, I used to recite Louise Bennett poems and one of the things I really love about poetry is it can be interpreted in 
several different ways. Claude McKee is one of my favorite poets. Um, I used to recite his poetry when I was a child. And this one says, if we must die. If we must die, let it not be like hogs hunted and penned in an inglorious spot, while round us bark the mad and hungry dogs, making their mock at our cursed lot. If we must die, oh, let us nobly die, so that our precious blood may not be shed in vain. Then even the monsters we defy shall be constrained to honor us, though dead. O kinsmen, we must meet the common foe. Though far outnumbered, let us show us brave, and for their thousand blows deal one death blow. What though before us lie the open grave? Like men will face the murderous, cowardly pack, pressed to the wall, dying but fighting back. Yes, I love Claude McKay. He was a warrior. And that's really what we need to bring to the fore now, our warrior spirits. We need to fight back and let our romance live and let our intimacy survive this corona pandemic. You can also send a video to a friend. You can document your day, a day in the life of and send it over to your loved ones so that they can get a sense of what you're doing and what's happening, especially again if they're overseas, let them know what the family is doing together. You know, you can FaceTime, you can Skype, Zoom, hang out, you can use several app and technology to bring yourselves closer through video conferencing so that's another way you can sign up and play games on the phone um, a lot of persons uh, play like Scrabble and games that you like together um, gaming is a big industry I used to play Scrabble with a friend of mine and it was quite nice to have the competition and to learn so much from each other so playing games online or using your phone is a great great idea for um, couples to to engage in a great activity for couples to engage in at this time then you want to look at um, doing something together I think it's a good time for us as humanity to reach out to each other and just you know send a positive message send a positive vibe out into the universe because we need a positive vibe right now we need to be able to feel the love. There are so many persons all around the world that are in pain, that are stressed out because of this pandemic. So, you know, you can do something together, start a blog, start a YouTube channel, paint and share the pictures, write poetry and send it out, you know, just celebrate each other because, um, you know that's why we're here and if you do that with your loved one you don't have to be together you can work remotely to put this channel together put whatever it is that you're sending out into the world together and it will be a collective effort and that will be impactful the one thing that everybody will be doing is praying and so you can carve out some time on the phone during the morning or whenever you want to to pray pray for yourself pray for your family pray for the world pray for your extended family just pray 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 and believe exercise your faith and just know that everything will be okay I believe and I know that all is going to be well and so that's my message you know just just stay upbeat just stay positive because this too will pass so pray together and you know that's great now a lot of persons will do personal things using uh, social media 
or whatsapp and so on i'm not one for that so i won't be promoting that but if that's something that you're comfortable with and confident with then you can go ahead and you know have some personal time um another thing i promote will be to exercise yes yesterday morning i went to visit my sister and uh, she has a nice open road that a lot of persons run on so um, we went running even though well we went walking even though we maintained our social distance so we were able to catch up we were able to talk and exercise at the t same time without breaking the rules you know so that was quite fun and very good and we exercised after we stretched after we ran and you know even though I didn't go inside our house and um, we just stayed outside and exercised and we picked guavas from the tree and mangoes and you know we you know we had a good time so if you can't go visit the person to exercise if you cannot maintain your social distance by doing that then you can do it remotely using video cameras you can exercise together and work on different areas of the body together you know set goals and try to achieve them and just be supportive as this happens this is a wonderful time for persons to just listen to each other we hear each other a lot but we don't listen I know I am guilty of that so I am taking the time to be more mindful to listen to hear what persons are saying to connect with what they're saying not to be on the computer or on my phone while someone is talking to me but to actually listen and engage in a meaningful crucial conversation because sometimes um, and at this time persons just sometimes just want to vent and just you know express their fears and so on and they need somebody to listen to that um, intently from the perspective of just um, you know being being supportive so now I'm going to leave you with another poem Uriah Breach from our beloved Louise Bennett be me family and a pian pian my data soon they teach. And when rain fall and pass and sick, my son, you write a preach. Sunday gone, rain come till parson couldn't left him yard. People was in a church, and so you write a get me broad. Him climb up on the pulpit, him lean over, him look down. Him look on all the enemy and just lash them with him tongue. The first one him take on was lies. Who the tell lie pa me? Him stare in her face and say, Thou art the mouth of my sea. Him say, Thou art the roar sum. Thou art the middle sum. And them look pa me and say, Thou art the slaughtered lamb. Him take on teacher brown. For when him was the size of that, Teacher beat him one day because him called teacher top not. So Raya get him revenge now. For him steer straight from Brown and said, Let them that sit it on the house top not come down. Him take on butcher Jones who noted for sell scraps his meat. Him says, Thou shall not give thy neighbors full of loops to eat. Him tell them off. Them know is them. Them art full to the brim. But as Raya in a pulpit, them can back answer him. So when church member mail me, I do answer till it reach. A rainy day when parson sick, and fimi son you Raya preach. Ay ay ay. Yes, so just sending you some love during this tumultuous time letting you know that you can keep your romance alive just have to be creative 
you just have to be spontaneous and just believe in the love that you have it will not be a problem if you are specially connected if you are connected to the soul then this you will both know is just a journey along the way so stay positive stay strong keep watching my channel lady ash tv it is indeed my pleasure to be with you thank you for watching and subscribe and like my channel and share it with someone lady ash saying goodbye ciao